Ladies and gentlemen, hello, hi, what's going on? Welcome to Cities Skyline. Now, uh, if you didn't know, I'm a huge fan of uh, city building games. Oh, oh boy. And, um, you know, I've done I've done SimCity in the past, and I had to stop doing that uh, due to my laptop was a bit crummy. But now, I have this awesome PC. I was going to restart up SimCity, but I thought, hey, let's do City Skylines, because it's coming out soon, and I've waited for it. I played it a little bit yesterday, I thought, you know, I'll, I'd get the hang of the controls and stuff, and wait and play. I actually ended up playing for almost four hours <laughs> last night. And, uh, do you want to know one of the best things about this game? Left-hand traffic, driving on the right side of the road. Uh, so here we have our city selection area. Uh, we can run through all the different ones. We can see the different natural resource, the amount of oil, or forest, oh, sorry, farming and forest, as well as how much water is in each city. Um... And as well as the different connections to highways, rails, uh, ships, and plane connections, so aeroplanes. Um, and we also have all the different areas, so they all look very, very pretty. Very pretty. And you can see all the different, um, all of the different uh, resources at the bottom changing to the different, different lands. Um, I'm not sure which one I want to go on, to be honest. That's really high-pitched. Um, because they all look pretty fantastic, all of them. Uh, river run looks kind of cool. Kind of tempted two rivers. That looks really nice, doesn't it? Let's let's do two rivers. Okay. So we got not not a lot of uh, farming. Lots of forestry though, which is good. And uh, our city name. Let's call it. Da -da -da. No, let's not go with a classic. Let's go with a bit of a different take on things. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome to Worry Mud. <laughs> okay. So start up the game and see what it's all about. Um, <laughs> so what's really cool about this is the notifications you get in this game. Uh, it's it's sort of like a Twitter, but it's not Twitter. It's Chirper. Here we go. Hello, this is Chirper. Keep an eye on what citizens are talking about and what is happening around the world. You found me. Uh, so we're going to hit space to pause real quick. And uh, we've got this... Room. Well, we've got the highway here. Um, and as you can see, they sort of split it off into a... An in and an out automatically, so you've got two, two different roads, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get into highway stuff later on. It's very cool, very very flexible. Um, let's start by building some roads and zoning the areas next to them. Buildings will spawn on the zoned areas. And you will unlock new city services and buildings as your cities grow. Uh, for help, click on the question mark button. It will provide you with information regarding the menu you have open. Yes, sir. So we're gonna build some roads. Um, to start with, we <laughs> all the roads are unlocked, which is a real shame. Uh, because I I don't want to go straight into a normal road, uh, but for now we're going to have to. Um, so this is our inn, so I'm going to pull this out, and the, the road creation is very flexible. Uh, we'll get into the different sort of roads later on. Uh, for now though, I just kind of want to bring it out to there. Um, yeah, and then we're going to bring it across. I don't want to do too much grid stuff, um, because I don't like grid-based cities. I think you can you can look, you can make things look a lot prettier without doing the grid based system. Um, we're going to bring this one over as well. Um, so we, we are able to do one way roads as well as a two lane track or four, well, two lane on each side um, as well as six lanes as well. And I believe this is the one which the highway is... I don't know. Uh, let's, let's check that quickly actually. Um, <laughs> let's just get rid of what we've done. Okay. No, I was incorrect. So Oh well, doesn't matter. Not the end of the world. Um, so we are able to... Slope is too steep. There we go. <laughs> so now we got a bit of a chunkier intersection. Um, which I am actually going to change this section to as well. It looks a, it looks a bit funky, but hey. Uh, all in the name of science, right? <laughs> uh, so that's that done. Uh, we now need to create some zoning... Um, for our different areas, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, an industrial area. So the, the zones, residential, commercial, and industrial, uh, just like you used to with uh, SimCity. Um, and this game is actually a lot more like the old SimCities than it is like the new. Um, very, very cool. Um, it's just basically like the old SimCity games, but with um, the, the new, the new graphics of the. Um, the new SimCity game. Um, so what I'm going to do is create a small industrial area here. Uh, nothing too fancy. So with the zonings, we have three, uh, well, 
four technically, but three different tools. We have the fill tool, which you can just easily fill in a chunk. Uh, we have the marquee tool, where you can sort of drag out a larger chunk. Um, and we also have the paintbrush tools, where you can sort of paintbrush them in. And uh, if you use the right click button, you can sort of, you know, delete. So always remember, delete button is there for your for your needs. I'm not sure what needs they are, but uh, they're there. Deal with it. <laughs> okay, let's add a little bit more industrial over here. Right, uh, so traffic's going to come in off here and over there. That's going to be fine. Uh, I probably am going to change this in the end, but this is good. Uh, that's the good thing about city building games is you can always change things as time goes on. I'm um, going to get some... Uh, so let's, let's make a good uh, sort of commercial section here. Then have the rest residential. We're going to expand on this later. Uh, but for now, we're going to unpause the game. And you'll see that the bottom left, we have the time going by. Um, and it actually goes in weeks. So, you know, once this bar fills up, it's the end of the day. At the end of the week, we will lose, you know, 15, whatever the money is. <laughs> and, um, uh, or gain it, or whatever. Um, but the city needs resources. It needs electricity, and it needs water supply. So if we head up to our information panel over here, click on the water, we can see where the water is and which way the current is flowing. This is very important uh, because we're going to need to add, um, first of all, a pumping station uh, so that we can pump water out of the river and to the city. And um, we are also going to need to add this, a water drain pipe. And you want to add your drain pipes downstream. Uh, very important because this will dump out poop <laughs> and you don't want the poop flowing into this. So, very important. Do it that way. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. I'm a master at this. Um, so, the um, the interesting thing about the new SimCity game was how it used the road network to transport, uh, trans transport resources like uh, water and electricity. With this game, it's, like I said... Uh, very much like the old SimCity game. Uh, let's go. I want to get this nice and straight because I'm, I'm a bit sort of weird like that. <laughs> Has to be perfect. So, okay, snap. Here you are. Oop, there we go. Uh, so now the the pumping station and the pooping station are connected. They just need power. And to start with, you know what? Yeah, let's actually let's go with a coal power plant. Um, but to start things off, I'm actually going to. Put the power plant over here. Oh, that looks a bit... That does look a bit funky, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, the coal power plant I'm going to have over here. Uh, main reason for this is that I want uh, the coal trucks to be able to come off and then split off so that uh, we don't run low on coal and uh, end up not having any electricity, which is bad. Um, so I kind of like steady production of electricity, but, but the environmental factors are uh, to consider. Yeah, smog. It doesn't matter. Um, so if I unlock the economy panel, and this is really important because um, we're going to need to balance our budget right at the start because we're losing 800 um, pounds or whatever cash per week. Uh, so for now, I'm going to drag both those all the way down to the end, 50% efficiency, uh, because we're not using all of it at the moment. Uh, so we're just wasting money. So how does the electricity work? Well, you can see uh, the the blue box is areas which require electricity or the 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 areas which electricity will flow between um, but if they are not connected we need to connect them ourselves and to do that we're using electricity pylons that should be enough that is literally just not enough isn't it oh no no they're connected cool so you can see you can let electricity flow between areas and as more buildings um, become or build up in these areas the blue boxes will connect and you won't need these pylons anymore so that's fantastic. So we will now connect these two areas up. Ba -ba -da -ba. And uh, hopefully they will stop moaning that they've got no power. There we go. Excellent. Uh, water. Water, water everywhere. Let's all have a drink. Okay, so you can get really efficient with these uh, water pipes because they do cost to maintain. Um, yeah, I mean you can see like there's, there's a tiny line there where the water, where there's a, like a little gap, but it's fine. Um, so we've got the legend here, um, the no water and sewage, but the brown ones, water only, no sewage, were grey, and the water and sewage 
Ah, blue. Um, but it's okay because, as you can see, the pipes are split up. I think blue is water, green is sewage. I don't actually know. Um, oh, yes, but uh, the, the sewage pipe needs power, apparently. But, oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> the models and textures in this game, or in this game, is awesome. I love it. Um, okay, so we need to connect the water pump up. It's very actually. You know what? We're not even going to do that. I'm going to give these. Oh, you see, that's that's not a bad idea. Um, so we're going to have two wind turbines next to each of these. Uh, so they're sort of self-sustaining. Um, so if I just show you uh, the wind panel. It's just strengths of wind, so uh, you get the you get more wind um, on these darker areas, and uh, less wind on the, the the lighter colored areas. There's no actual wind direction, which is uh, interesting because there's no uh, sort of wind direction for industry. Uh, so yeah, okay. So we got a couple of industrial buildings here, not too shabby. Uh, we're gonna need more residential though, right off the bat. We're gonna need a bunch of residential. Um, so I'm going to drag this road across here, and uh, you can see the guides, like where these blue lines are. That's like the the perfect spacing to split off um, uh, and do it like enough. Oh, not enough money, not good. Uh, yeah, that's like the perfect spacing to split off and do like another another spur to get the maximum area, because the the grid base system here works very well. You can turn off the snapping uh, for the grid which means you've got sort of like free reign, but I do like to keep it on in some points. Um, helps out a bunch. Nearly into the positive, which is good. Um, tell you what we'll do. Is, you know, that's a nice long street over there, so we'll, we won't connect them up. <laughs> uh, we'll extend this one by a little bit more, then go over here, and over here. So they're now connected, they won't have to drive all the way back to that one intersection. And, uh, Sort of go there so they can go this way. That's good. Um, water, yeah, you got water. You guys don't have water though. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Awesome. Right. So, very good. I guess what we can start doing is zoning some commercial along here. Because um, I, I do like to keep my sort of uh, industry sort of buffered by a commercial area. Uh, just to stop people complaining. Even though they'll complain anyway, they complain about everything. Um, so yeah, that should be good. Let's speed up the time. Let's go triple time. And watch all the little cars move in. It's fantastic. If we go into the free camera mode. Oh. This game is so pretty. So pretty. I mean, like, we've even got these little things on the side of the road. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, cars will park on the side of the road as well. Which is very cool. I love it. Um... Yeah, and you've got the wind turbine in the back. Got the other wind turbine over there. It's just... This game is phenomenal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. We've already reached a, uh, a, a milestone, so I didn't talk about these. Uh, so we've reached 420 population. We're now classed as a little hamlet. Uh, we've unlocked taxes and loans. We can also use uh, the garbage service, the healthcare, and the education. So uh, very cool. We will get into that right now. Um, let's think... Uh, if we had some more money, which we do now, I think... Do you get extra money for completing milestones? I'm not sure. Um, hmm. So that's that's our next goal. 850 and we'll unlock all these. Uh, which is very cool. We'll get into that uh, next time, hopefully. Uh, for now, let's continue zoning some... Uh, some areas. Uh, like I said, I don't like grid-based systems, but for now, it's going to have to do... Okay, so this is going to be our main... Uh, industrial, well not industrial, residential area. Uh, let's put some nice commercial along here. That, that, that looks good to me. Some over here as well. And yeah, let's put some on this side of the road. Everything else we will fill out in residential. Houses, houses everywhere. And of course we need to make sure that they have a good supply of water. And by good, I mean I'm going to be very anal about how I do this, because it's got to be perfect. Got to be perfect. There we are. So they'll get what they need, what they want. Um, our demands are very low at the minute. We've got a slight demand for industrial, uh, which will go up as time progresses. Um, I might add some more industrial over here, actually. Um, we'll see. 
Uh, is that electricity nearly flow? No, that electricity has not nearly flow. It will do eventually though, so that's good. Um, and we need to start putting in some services. So main one we want to put in straight away is garbage. Um, well, actually we need to put them all in. Which can, well, we just got 20,000 from doing that one thing, so we're going to throw them all in. Um, so you can see the area of influence. Um, well, the, the purple area around it is the amount of pollution or the amount of or the area which is affected by pollution. And if we put it on a road, you can see the green areas are the roads which the gar garbage trucks will service. Uh, so for now, we're going to put it he here, I think. Um, that's good enough. And uh, the garbage trucks will come out, collect the garbage, fill up the landfill site. We will unlock a uh, another building later on to burn the garbage and turn it into electricity, which is going to be very handy, something we're going to want to do. Uh, so also we're going to need, <laughs> we don't have enough money, um, we're going to need a school and we're going to need a, uh, a fire uh, a fire service, which we'll get into soon. Uh, hopefully before this episode ends, I'm going to do it, or going to hope to uh, get those in before this episode is over with. So we've got a good foundation for a city. Um, our indicators are very low at the moment. Let's take a look at this, this is our information. Warry Mud, population 600. Uh, so we can see the zoned-in buildings distribution. Um, so we've got a lot of industry, apparently. Um, average average zoned buildings level. So um, buildings will level up as they become happier, or the people in there become happier. We've also got these policies buttons, which hopefully we'll be able to get into later. Um, blackout again, no power. What? Say what? Okay, they were just moaning because their, their zone hadn't sort of been incorporated into the main zone yet. Either that, or they don't have power. No, they don't. So our electricity power, um, we do need to increase the budget back to that, I guess. 100% of that. Yeah, okay, there we go. So they're now getting, so yeah, electricity comes up. So, you know, we're producing 56 megawatts per hour, or per week, or whatever. We're, we're, we're producing 56 megawatts, uh, but we need 15. Oh, wow, we made it to the next level already. <laughs> um, so we unlock a new area. This is very cool. This is the reason why I love this game. We'll get into that soon. Um, districts, another awesome thing about this game, which we'll get into in a couple of episodes. Uh, different specializations. We also unlock the fire department, police department, and unique buildings, which I haven't really played around with. Um, industry specialization, which is awesome. Love this. So policies, which help your city um, sort of turn into a certain type. And these new buildings as well. Um, that's great news. Now we can annex... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Okay, slow down a bit. Take a look at this. Hit this button in the bottom left. Boom. We can buy adjacent areas and expand our city. This is just amazing. Um, <laughs> one of my favorite things about this game. It's awesome. Uh, so what were we doing? Oh yeah, healthcare. We can now pop this down. Uh, let's put it right in... Oh, you see, that doesn't have a... Hmm. Okay, what I'm actually going to do is put another road in... Um... Let's put a road in right down the... Actually, you know what? Let's change it up a little bit. Let's put a road down there. Put a road down there. And put a road down there. Heck, why not? Those people are unhappy because I just destroyed their homes, but they'll 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 get over it. <laughs> so we've got a healthcare service there. Fantastic. Fire service I also want to put sort of in the middle of the industrial... Uh, no, not really. I want to put it... So it's got a better connection to our industry area. Um, but then it's not serving that bit over there. That's fine. You know what? That's fine. Fire service there. We've also just got enough for an elementary school. Uh, which can go there. So we've got all our services in. Um, one of the things about this game is you do sort of have to go back in and uh, repaint some zones after you destroy areas. Uh, I don't seem to have been affected by that this time, so it's fine. Uh, we're very well into the green at the minute, 1,602 to start with, uh, so that's very good. Um, just take a look at what we need to do. I think that's a good start to the series. I mean, we're pumping up enough water. We're getting rid of all the poop. Let's just see. Yeah, look, look at this. You can see the poop, the purple poop flowing downstream. Um, so, uh, yeah, very important that you check which way the, the water is flowing uh, before you do that. So... That's our city. Oh, did I pause it? I don't think I paused it. Maybe it pauses when the, uh... Hang on. No, it doesn't pause. Why are they all waiting? 
What? Are you stuck? <laughs> I don't think you shouldn't be stuck. Oh, there. He just disappeared. Uh, so, interesting thing about the company that, that created this game is they were actually... Uh, they or the first games they created were transport uh, management games so the traffic in this game is phenomenal like very important I definitely need to sort something out about this I'm probably gonna extend these roads down a bit further when we uh, increase the city but for now I think that's gonna do it for the first episode I mean check it out we've got a very good city uh, beginnings going on um, we got the kids going to school here with the playground in the back I, look, the models in this game is awesome People will actually walk places, you know, they have jobs at specific places, they live in specific areas. Uh, we'll get into districts in another episode, but it's a very awesome game, I love it. It's fantastic. Uh, so for now, that's going to be it. Thank you all very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you all in episode 2, uh, when we'll, we'll do some more. We'll do some more. So yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time.